This first exercise is an incline abdominal crunch exercise. This provides a low amount of resistance in terms of gravity because you're actually already starting in a leaning position on an incline position. It's a little easier for beginners or deconditioned ab um, work to use this incline position. And here's another variation of the incline assisted sit-up. By reaching out in front of you, extending your arms in front, you actually create assistance by gravity so that it's a little bit easier to perform the exercise. This is a beginner's version of this beginning exercise. The next combination is a superset of rope crunches. Rope crunches, what you want to do is, with everything you do with abs actually, you want to take a deep breath and exhale. Make sure that you really contract inward and upward the abdominal cavity and the muscles that are actually the front part of the abdominal cavity. With the rope crunches, you want to exhale down. It's a very short range of motion, but make sure you're focusing on rounding the spine and crunching over, bringing the upper ribs and sternum towards the pelvis in the front of the pubic bone because that's actually where the rectus abdominis ties in. So we can do this actually either straight on or you can do this to the side. If you do it to the side, you're actually working a little bit of the oblique of the opposite side from which you're bringing, driving downward and towards uh, the hip bone. The next part of the superset is actually a decline bench sit-up. The reason why this is a little bit more challenging is because gravity on the decline bench actually pulls harder on your torso, creating increased resistance to the abdominal wall. This is a real challenging, more advanced movement, um, but it's very good stimulation for the rectus abdominis and then the entire core region. Keep your core tight. Exhale as you squeeze up so that you're flattening and contracting your entire abdominal region. The final exercise I'm going to show you today is the hanging leg raise. You want to make sure that your core stays engaged the entire time so that you're stabilizing your midsection. This is a really cool exercise for both the transverse abdominis and the more visible um, rectus abdominis coming straight up. Um, but make sure that you're stable through the core and that you're coming up nice and slow and down and slow with this as little rocking or swinging as possible to eliminate momentum. You can always bend your knees as well if you want to shorten the lever and decrease the resistance for continued performance of this exercise.